Okay, now let's talk about insertion sort. Uh, insertion sort is still O of n squared, um, but it's actually one of the most efficient um, sorts in this category. And it turns out it has uh, so few uh, operations, it's the fastest of the sorts we're going to see in the n squared. And it's, so it's a really efficient for a small number of things you, you need to sort. Um, the way it works is the uh, outer algorithm is going to sort more and more every time, but it's going to be building the sort in the smaller part of the list instead of the bigger, like with the sorts we've just seen. Um, so it's going to start out and, as and assume that we're sorting a list of one and it's already sorted. And then it's going to look at sorting a list of uh, two, where it's going to take the 26 and put the list of two in order. So the way it does that, it basically pulls out the 26 and compares it to the item below it and if the item below it is bigger it moves that over and then it compares the next one and when it runs in out of uh, when it finds one that's not bigger it will insert the 26 so what happens is uh, first we have 54 sorted and then we're going to put uh, 26 into this list and so we end up with this now it's easier to see as you get bigger and bigger lists. Now we have a, this list that's in gray is already sorted each step and we're taking the first white one and putting it into it in the proper place and we do that by moving everything over to make room. So the 93 is going to go after the 54. The 17 though is going to go at the beginning of the already sorted list. So 17 is going to be compared with 93 and then be compared with 54 and finally compared to 26 it will be stuck in there. As it's failing the compares it's moving the 93 over then the 54 over and the 26 over and finally it has a slot for 17. And it inserts the 77 where it goes and then it inserts the 31 where it goes and so on. And then it inserts the 44, the 55, and at the very end it inserts the 20 in this part of the list that's already sorted. So it puts in the 20 in the right place, and then we've finished. So let's look at one step in particular. We're going to look at the step where it's inserting this 31. So it's going to be inserting the 31. Uh, so first it remembers that is what's called the current value. And then it compares the 31 to 93 and asks the question is, is the 93 bigger? Which means that the 93 would be going to the right of the 31. And if it is, it moves the 93 over. Then it compares the 31 to the next value, which is 77. And it sees, well, that's also bigger, so it moves it over. And then it compares the 31 to the 54, and that's also bigger, so it moves it over. And then finally it compares the 31 to 26 and says, well, that's not bigger, so I'm going to stick it in this empty slot here. And so now I've, I've put 31 in the right place. So each step is going to be like that. Uh, so let's look at an animation. The code's pretty easy. You have the outer loop, uh, which is picking the, the value that I'm going to insert. Uh, and then you have the current value that we're, uh, so that's getting the current value and remembering it. It's setting up the position to uh, the place we're going to uh, uh, start from. And then while the position is greater than zero and uh, the position of position minus one is greater than a 30 value, we're going to move things over. So then we, we set the value in position minus one into the position. So that's going to move position minus one to the right and then it's going to decrement position and loop again. So once it's failed this condition or reached zero, it's going to finally move the current value into the slot it found. And so there, there's, there's the uh, how it works. Let's uh, look at a sample. Now as you watch this, the other ones we saw, you'll, you saw the back of the list starts getting sorted and moving in this direction as the list was completing. In insertion sort, you'll see the beginning of the list start starting to be sorted and it's moving one more thing at a time into the already sorted area. So you'll see that on the left it's starting to look sorted. It's inserting more and more things into it until finally it's inserted the last one into the proper position. So that's insertion sort.